Hi students, welcome to the Noid Learning Platform. Today I am here to introduce about oil and gas industry short term courses. Before I am going to the main subject, I will give you some brief idea about what is oil and gas industry and what all are the current operation we are doing in the both onshore and offshore. If you divide into the oil and gas industry, we can say two section. One is onshore section and other one is offshore section. Onshore means land operation, offshore means sea or river operation. If you look at the history before 1859, there was no crude oil or there was no natural gas in the surface. The man Edwin Derrick is the one who invented the first oil well in northwestern Pennsylvania. The depth of the well is only just 50 meter. But if you look at the current situation, we cannot see any oil well in 50 meter depth. Minimum will be 1000 meter or maximum it will reach to 20,000 meter. According to the onshore and offshore, the depth will be varies. We have different types of applications in both onshore and offshore, but the procedure will be same. In onshore and offshore, the procedure will be same, only some equipments will be varying. So I will tell some short time courses in oil and gas industry. Here I will introduce the first course, petroleum geology. The petroleum geology means the geological section of the earth surface or subsurface of the earth. This will help the drilling engineer or the engineering team will give an idea about where they need to drill the exact oil well. For this they are doing onshore section and offshore section separately. In onshore section they will record the details in geophones and in offshore they will record in hydrophones. What they are doing means they will put some sensor on the surface and they will put some bomb and they will artificially make a blast. This will produce a sound wave from the subsurface to the surface of the earth and this will record to the geophones. So according to the formations the each wave will travel after bomb blast this earth will produce some vibration. This vibration will give some waves. According to each formation the waves will be different. The wavelength will be different. Each formation have different porosity and permeability. Porosity means pore spaces present in the reservoir and the permeability means interconnected pore spaces. So these all are the main topics we are discussing in the petroleum geology. This will help the driller or the reservoir to find where they need to drill for oil and gas. We introducing roast boat training and the floor man training. This section will mainly under the drilling section drilling floor section we can say. The main activity of an oil field operation is the drilling. Drilling means we are drilling for an oil well or the gas well to get more reservoir production or to more oil or more gas to the surface. For this we need the drilling fluid. Drilling fluid will maintain the hydrostatic pressure throughout the drilling operation. So the guy who mixing the drilling fluid will be the mud engineer and the, with the help of the roaster board guys. The roaster board guys is the main key responsibility in the drilling floor section. They will help the drilling engineer or the mud engineer to mixing the drilling fluid and the connecting the drill pipes, drill pit, all the floor activities they are mainly doing by the roaster boards. The next after the roaster board section will be the floor man section. The floor man will be guide the roaster board to what to do the next level of the operation. So this both will give a team player to the drilling section to success in operation. Next we will discuss about wellhead operator. After drilling section they will put one Christmas tree. Christmas tree means different types of walls and branches in one wellhead. So for this we need one operator to assist the production engineer for the future production of oil and gas. This wellhead operator have one assistant operator and one more operator will be there to assist the wellhead operator. The main job and key, key responsibility of wellhead operator is open and close the wing valve, crown valve and the master valve during the end air operation or during the shutdown process. Next we will discuss about well testing level 1 and well testing level 2. In this the main key responsibility of well testing engineer or well testing operator to check what all are the types of oil or gas is coming from the well. Whether it is crude oil, whether it is natural gas or only water is coming or this well is producing any sand. Before well testing if you directly go to the refinery section 
this will cause or this will damage the entire refinery plant because this well is producing more water and more sand this will affect our the refinery equipments for this we need to test the well what we are doing in this well testing section means we will connect our entire well testing department into the well head and the well testing operator will open the well and we will take the all liquid and gas through our separator so we can find out what all the types of the crude oil or the natural gas is coming from the earth surface and we can find out how much production we can take it from the size of the choke the choke we are putting in the choke manifold to check how much maximum this reservoir can produce and reservoir performance in future the predict the future reservoir performance everything will come under the well testing section next we will discuss about the coil tubing operation in this the coil tubing engineer assistant operator and coil tubing main operator they will set the platform for the injectivity test or the frac operation in this mainly they are doing injecting some liquid or some gas to the well to recover more gas or more oil from the earth surface mainly the crude oil is producing by natural effect after some years this effect will be come down there will be no production so increasing the more production the coil tubing will inject some stimulation job or acid job to increase the porosity and permeability from the reservoir why we are increasing the porosity and permeability means this will give more production from the reservoir so the coil tubing activity will be mainly in stimulation job or acid job or fracturing job we can call like that next we will discuss about e line or wireline logging operator in this after the production or production tool completed we need to perforate the reservoir for this we need the help of or with the help of e line or wireline department we can perforate the reservoir in this job main key responsibility is they are connecting the tool the perforating gun they will connect each together like a drill string same drill string connection in the drilling rig section the same method they are using before perforating the well we need to take the logging data for this we are introducing some logging tool to this wireline department they will connect and they will send to the reservoir and take where the exact position of the reservoir and they will perforate that area not only the perforation job they are doing some other logging like temperature logging density logging this will helps the cement bond between the casing and formation these all are the main or main activity under the wireline and e line department next we are discussing about daq operator or engineer daq means data acquisition operator or data acquisition engineer this will come under the well testing section if you look at to the field operation the main guy who is giving the report to the client is the daq guy he is the one who taking all the reports from all the department like well testing coil tubing slick line wire line they have separate separate report and this daq guy will interpreting the all data and he is submitting the final report to the client if you are working in saudi we are supporting to the aramco if in uae atno qatar means qatar petroleum so one client we need only one final report so this report is making by the daq guy